Well, hi everyone, here we are at Hobbycraft. Just check in that I've got my little fluff ball on my uh, microphone. So, I'll give you a brief look of what it looks like. It's quite a big store. Goes all the way uh, down there and this side as well. All the way to the back, which is quite vast. And upstairs is the same. Well, near enough the same. Um, okay, so I'm just going to sanitize and pause the video and I'll be back with you. Oh, we're rolling again. So we've got some new yarn. Well, it says it's new. Let's have a look, see what we've got. Oh, it's just Hayfield bonus DK. I wouldn't say it's that new then. Got lovely bright red. What's this? It's different. Just get it in my hand. Ah, right. On bon. <laughs> no, bon bon. Ah, on bon. <laughs> bon bon. So, Saskia Carcass. Yeah, is that right? So much to you. So, it's different. I've not seen this one before. Brand new. Bon bon. I Mako, maybe. Uh, just shade of red. I think this is a DK. Here we go. We've got 100% acrylic and 285 meters. It's really soft actually. That's quite nice. So there's quite a lot of that. So that may have been just Hayfield, but the rest is this new one. Just the black one that wasn't. It's got some nice colours. That's a very vibrant colour. This looks quite cool actually. I haven't got a basket yet. I figured I'd have a look round with you guys. This is a bit where they usually have the Women's Institute yarn. Three for two, usually is. Got some new colours. This one's quite nice. Like a deep mulberry, I guess you'd say. And if you look along, lots of nice colours. And then, so they've got all the different weights of yarn as well and different textures like this one this looks nice it's like a nice well, actually it looks horrible on on the film if i go back see the color change it still doesn't come out the color it should be but if i go further back nope it's almost mauve almost i do find that purples and mauves are really hard to film like that one there that looks pretty lilac um well ultraviolet it's actually quite lilac to be honest with you so this bit this looks like maybe chunky, yep it is. It's very stripy. Not sure I like the colours though. They do have a variety. That one's not so bad. Let's see what it's called. Probably just a number. Um, bright pink mix. Nice though. Everything I'm making lately seems to be pink, I don't know if you notice. This could be Baby River's influence upon me. This is a nice colour. It looks a bit washed out, but it's kind of like a nice peachy. The lighting's not that great in here today. It's probably all these decorations that they've got. They've got the big balls of Aaron. It's very soft. That's really nice. Everything are three for two. So the Aaron is £10.50. Put on a three for two. That's the usual one of the mill Aaron colour. This is that very shiny, is it four ply by the looks of it? Yeah, four ply, which is sport weight across the pond. Wow, that's very orange. Peach is always lovely. Their peach colour is beautiful. But we've got nice stocked shelves for a change. The last few times I've been in, it's been a different story. But they've got loads and loads of yarn loads and loads of yarn yay and pattern books i'm sorry if i'm a bit muffled i'm wearing a mask i've got a lot of amigurumi stuff left though just the odd couple of lonely balls but they do have this peyton's four ply cotton lots and lots of that now those are five pounds 40 100 percent cotton they're probably 100 grams though. Yes, they are. 
Uh -huh, and some kobu in a nice white. So the kobu's at the bottom. And they never have such vibrant colours. The grey's nice. This is okay. Bit of a salmon-y colour. But usually they're quite dull colours. I might get some white though, we'll see. We'll see what makes it in to the basket. Quite expensive, really, just for a little ball. I like the way they wind them. So we've got lots of this. I do have quite a bit of this already, which came free with my magazine subscription. So we've got the Knit Craft, that own, their own brand. Who knows? One day, maybe I'll have my own brand. Wouldn't that be fun? So there's the Rico Creative Cotton. Lots of empty shelves down here though. Maybe not had any deliveries of that. It's only natural. This is quite interesting. 50 grams will cost you two pounds. That's not bad. I like that. It's a DK weight and it's cotton. I'm really sort of going to stand up because I'm struggling to, <laughs> struggling to kneel there. I was going to fall over. That would have been... I know you'd have thought that was great in the video. But I'm just trying to find... Ah, it is 100% organic cotton. And they've got some nice colours of that. So that's interesting for £2, but they are 50 grams. So we've got lots of Hayfield bonus. Quite like this one. That's a nice moody shade. Bonus breeze. Lots of different ones here. Try and steady my camera. I don't do well when I'm crouching down. And this one, you may recognise this. I did buy quite a lot of that. That beautiful. Oh, why did I have to put it so low down? You know, some of us are not good bending. So there's all these toys up there now that show you what you could do with the Amigurumi yarns. Maybe they're phasing out those little tiny ones. And still every single aisle has rows and rows of patterns as well as all the yarn. So this is the Hayfield bit. Bonus at the uh, budget ranges. I had this before. Doesn't feel as soft though. This is James C. Brett Lazy Days. It's not rough, you could wear it, but it has a it has a resistance to it, you know, feel. What is it made of? Try and find the yarn band. Doing it with one hand isn't the easiest. Um, where is it? There we go. It's got polyamide and 80% acrylic. So, this is different. James C. Brett double knitting with merino. Grey. Bit of boring colour. Do like this, so. I was very tempted to make something like that. Uh, what we got down here? This is the Serdar. And the Hayworth Tweed. Yeah, the, the, the picture's looking brighter than it is. It's more of a dark, moody kind of blue. Light and long. <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know why that makes me chuckle, but <laughs> it's obviously something that sounds rude, perhaps. I don't know. So we're getting towards the end of the aisle, which is normally where they've got the Hayfield Spirit. And there it is. Got some different colours now though. The usual one, the one that I love, is not here anymore. But they've got others. Other colours. Maybe that one's finally been discontinued. This is interesting. What have we got here? A bit scratchy though. It does feel a tad scratchy. West Yorkshire Spinner's signature four ply. So if you wanted a variegated four ply, I'm really struggling to breathe with this mask. So if I'm if I'm panting a little bit, that's why. Um, no, it doesn't feel as soft as it should. 75% wool, 25% nylon. For wool, it's actually quite soft. This, however, is ridiculously soft. This is beautiful. The James C. Brett Driftwood. I do have some of that. I was going to make something within a just haven't so far but they've got some lovely colours so that's this end this is the James C. Brett bit but they do kind of mix it up a bit you've got the marbling marbly type yarns in 100 grams at this part they've got this beautiful 
colour. And pink's nice. Green and blue. The stone wash. Again, feels a tad, a tad rough. Must be premium acrylic, really. Doesn't feel it. No. So anyway, then we've got all the bags. All of the bags and bits and bobs. So we've got quite a lot of crafting, as you can see. A lot of sewing. And then you've got knit kits and latch hook kits. And all this aisle after aisle. Now this aisle, I was going to say, used to be yarn. It's here. Hello, Gary. Here he is. So here we've got some James C. Brett Flutterby. And I really do like that yarn, but it does get up my nose a tad. Grey's a nice colour, and the, well, this one's very pretty. And they do have all their usual white cream. Cream was the first one I ever had. But we've also got some Bernat Velvet. If they have some Bernat Baby, I might be tempted. But I don't know that they do, because that seems to be all she wrote for Bernat. This is really nice. I like this colour, though. Very nice. Can't get it out. It's so fat. Can't get it out. The crushed velvet. It's really difficult to do this with one hand. Hope you appreciate what I have to go through. 100% polyester. 300 grams. Is 288 metres. I do have some velvet yarn to use up. If I can uh, locate it. A bit sparse on the patterns over this side. I need to catch my breath. Sorry. And here we've got more marble, more James C. Brett marble, but this is the big, big, kind of chunky, humongous balls. Stay, <laughs> I can't get it on there, I have to go over there. They're so big, where would you store them? I did have one of these once, made a, made a basket with it. So yeah, this is all that huge, chunky, kind of very, very, very fat like even super chunky is um too too smaller description we've got the budget brands again the hayfield bonus cozy up that is a uh, nick craft's own version that one felt quite rough but this one doesn't feel so bad probably better when it's washed obviously it's making those big blankets so over this side, apart from all the silks, we've got some hooks and bobble makers and knitting needle size doodads, stitch holders and some wooden hooks and some bog standard hooks, needles and big fat ones, look at those, big big needles, what's this? A stacking sign box. So I guess you put your cotton reels on there. That's obvious. So we've got a bit more to look for. You may recognise this. This is the winner takes the shawl. We have some beautiful colours. I step back. Look at those colours. They're amazing. I do like those. But this one, this is the one I perhaps should have got before and didn't get with the gold. Really nice. And those are usually on a three for two. Doesn't say so at the moment though. So then this is where we started. So we went down the first aisle. This is the second. So we've got yarn on both sides. And so these are those two of a kind sock walls. They often have these. That's their own brand. Some of them are two colours or three colours. Oh. What we've got here then? Sirdar Baby. And lots of lots of patterns again and down here we've got the James C. Brett baby all the baby marbles and they're really really lovely I like this colour isn't that lovely it's kind of pink and dark blue it's darker all colleagues than, for children, That's all colleagues for sorry darker than it looks on camera that and lots of lovely colours in this down there I love that colour though that's very nice bad on the knees again and we've got Sirdar Snuggly I'm not pulling my sorry I'm hooked up with my microphone there the Snuggly 
I did buy a grey the other day and this is four pounds I think it was how much did I say I have to check my my um my bill for when I got it in Dunelm it was this one I got to make the uh, baby dress or whatever I could trim on it and there's a white one but that's four pounds so I have to check see which was the best value for that and they also had this this was what I made well I'm going to make the um, dress out of but they had grey I like this colour though that's pretty I do seem to go for these loads of colours in them that's chunky I do have some of that I think look at these ones though wow pretty pretty bright then we've got the feels like butter or as I like to call it can't believe it's not butter and I could have got another ball didn't think about it didn't know I was coming uh, what we got up here Rico baby cotton that's three pounds for is that 50 grams I believe it is oh this is cute though look at that one this is Rico baby baby yarn oh that is very soft and they've got this one which is pretty unusual that's actually quite nice but this is just a dreamy color look at that it probably doesn't show the same I think I might have bought one ball of that when I went to uh, Dunelm it's this feels like that oh look at that lovely yarn band they've kind of up the game with the yarn band <laughs> that's nice more snuggly but cotton then we've got these ones which you know they're more of a knitter yarn so if I step back you can see all the colors and all the way along they're not all the same yarns but mostly so this is the Sardar snuggly 50 gram DK but it's very thin look at that very thin for a DK we've got several colors and then we've got more Barnett Monet Burnett blanket going back and we'll go the other way as there's a lady over there so this is the sparkly stuff this is their own brand baby brilliance and they've got the sparkle in and they've got a pink which is pretty but that's got if you can pick up the sparkle in that or not and this lovely kind of mauve but this turquoise is very nice lots of them and we've got grey just about see the sparkle and the cream I just had someone checking me out see what I was doing someone that worked here and white this is an unusual sparkly colour there like a sparkly camel colour again lots of patterns this is nice it's the hay baby I've had some of that before moving down see we've got well stocked now leader of the pack that's I've had some of that but it wasn't like I'm sure it wasn't a solid colour that I had I think it might have been this one yeah I was <laughs> there's a tail actually I was making Gary a scarf with that knitting loom still exactly as it was then we've got the sea urchins it really does look like a sea urchin this one and oh that's a nice colour though catch a wave it's called and this one look at that that's new new colour I do like the catch a wave I have to say I haven't used it yet but I did buy some these are always very soft the Women's Institute soft and cuddly still though very very thin for a DK weight uh, what's this stuff return oh very rough return of the Mac not nice <laughs> and okay if you're doing macrame I think no yarn band more soft and cuddly and pretty colorways this one and groove is in the yarn is back not so many colors though and we've got some mandalas but they're usually at the bottom get there in a minute 
and more groovers in the yarn. The Karen is a bit sparse, got a few. And then there's these. I love these. These are the kind of Sirdar stone washed. Beautiful. I've got blue, pink and purple, but this one is equally as gorgeous. Monster Hayfield Arons. And at the bottom we've got the mandalas and the Karen cakes. All down here. But they are usually quite expensive, ten pounds. I think the mandalas used to be eight. Are they still? Is that eight pounds? Yeah. So that's it. Uh, this is an interesting one though. What's that? Hayfield bonus Aaron Tweed. So then they've got the jewel spun. That's about all there is. That's all we got. So I'm going to end it there, guys. And um, my next video, I'll show you what made it into the basket. Bye for now. Thanks for watching.